Good morning, everyone. Let us jump right. Oops. <laughs> Let us jump right into it. Here we go. If we get white, we're going to be using the. Oh, never mind. So let's see how I'm doing. 1167. That's pretty good. That is pretty good for me. Okay, let's see what our opponent chooses to open with. Oh no, auto abort. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay, hopefully this isn't going to be a really slow game that ends with a disconnect. That is always frustrating. Luckily it doesn't happen too much. Ooh, what is this? I think I'm supposed to take... Center game accepted, it's called. All right. And now I think I'm going to attack the queen. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I think I might have messed up. No, wait. I think I'm okay. Uh... Oh, I don't know, guys. What is happening here? Um, oh, what is happening here? Hmm. Let's get this out. I guess. I don't know. We're going to do some stuff, that's for sure. What do I do here? Let's see, I can attack the queen with another knight move. Might be interesting. What I was thinking was get my queen to here to pin this pawn. Although, what does that do? Oh yeah, and that would weaken this pawn. Um, should I attack the queen, guys? It can't, can't hurt, can it? Um, let's give it a, wait, wait, the other option would be something with this pawn. Get my pawn up to here, or maybe get my bishop out. Let's attack the queen. I'm not sure what's going on here. Uh, I don't feel like I'm walking into a trap because he doesn't have any checks, right? Like he can go here, but I would obviously just take. Okay. Oh boy, I, I'm i not sure what's going on, guys. I can't take that pawn. I can bring out a bishop and castle. That might be a good idea. Hold on. Let's think, what's he going to do? He's probably going to attack this knight. That would be my guess. So perhaps we should put our bishop here so that when I move that knight, it comes with an attack on that pawn. Does that make sense? But then that blocks in this pawn. Oh boy. Well, yeah, let's go here. I, I like that idea. It also defends the knight. But I think he's going to just push this pawn up and attack me. Okay, let's let's just trade because I'm not like I said, I'm not sure what's going on. So I want to simplify. <laughs> I'm I'm very confused by this opening. I'm just guessing at what to do. So I have a feeling when we look at the game review, there's gonna be a lot of inaccuracies, maybe blunders that my opponent just wasn't able to capitalize on. And honestly, the same with me. 
Oh, look at this. He could almost fork me here. That's a little scary. Um. Okay, I need to be careful because this pawn push is scary under the right circumstances. So, I'm going to castle. That's step one. Then I bet he's going to do something to guard the square. Like, what can he do? Bishop to here? No, that would just be a trade. Let us attack that pawn. That sounds good, right? That way, if he pushes it, I can take with my my rook instead of my bishop. Although, bishop would also be okay, I guess. I'm kind of... I kind of like the idea of... moving my bishop to here even that blocks my rook but it also blocks that pawn the bishop can't be attacked by another pawn very easily um it defends my knight and it opens up space for this pawn oh I, I just don't know I need to move this pawn. Let, let's do this. We're going to give it a try. We're going to go here and then push this pawn. And just see what happens. Alright, well, let's force this trade or, or make him retreat. Because I'm going to, if he trades, ooh, okay, okay, that's interesting. Okay, that is interesting. Let's do this to get this bishop out with an attack on the queen. Oh boy, what is going on here? Oh, okay, so I can't do that. Uh-oh. Oh man, I'm getting demolished, guys. Because, look, if I move my queen, he can jump in here and fork me. Well, let's do this to get um, another protection point here. Okay, that's good for now. Ooh, goodness. This is scary. Wait a minute. Am I... Okay, so if he takes, I take with my bishop. He takes, I take with my rook. Okay, yeah, that's okay. I'm protected. But I want to get this knight out of here. And this blocked my bishop. I was going to bring my bishop out here with an attack. But that would have been a disaster. Because he would take this with check. And that loses. then I lose the guard of that bishop. I have to recapture. He takes my bishop. Did you follow that? 
That would have been bad. Now I think, what do I need to do here? Should I force out this bishop? If I, if I pop up to here, that's like making my king very exposed. But good thing is his bishop only has this one square and then I, well, I'll take, yeah, never mind. That, that doesn't seem good to me. Who goodness. I need to get my, let's see, I've got one, two, three pieces guarding my knight. He's got one, two, three attackers. Uh, I've got four, but I'd like to move my queen and unpin. Let's, let's force this knight out of here real quick. He's either got to retreat or resolve all this tension over here. Okay, that's what I thought. Ah, okay, so what I'm thinking is rook to here. Let's do that. Oh, although he's gonna eventually get this push. So I, I don't wanna do that for long. I might move him up to here actually. Well, that's probably not a good idea either. But for now, he does have to move his queen. Do we want to force a queen trade? Let's do this. All right, it's, yeah, it's force because otherwise it's like checkmate. Well, no, I mean, yeah, yeah, it would be, I think. Okay, so now we've got a pin on this pawn, which is nice. Should we get our bishop over here? He is probably going to push this pawn forward. Let's do this. Because, you know, I like being able to take with Tempo, see I can do that now. I'm hitting his bishop. I've got, I think I've got some advantage from doing that. Let's see, if I go here, he's probably just gonna guard. Oh, and then I can attack. Let's give that a try. We're gonna go here. And then we're gonna attack that square. If he, if he guards this pawn, I can attack that square by putting my bishop here. Wow, okay, was not expecting that. Um, where shall we make his 
bishop. Oh my gosh, did I just, did we trap his bishop? I don't see where his bishop can escape to. He just cut off his only escape square, guys. That was a big blunder. See, he can't go here, or here, or here, or here. I mean, he, so he either has to take that pawn, or take that pawn, or just let me capture him. Oh, you know what he should probably do? Is rook to here. Because then I have to... Oh, yeah, he didn't see that. I think if he had put his rook here, I would have to take it. No, it doesn't help. It doesn't help, does it? Let's blockade these pawns. His king can't come up here, which is nice, because of my rook. But yeah, I wanted to just stop these pawns from advancing. He can't push, well, he can push that one, but then it would be kind of cut off and I could attack it. And he can't push that one. So now we're going to bring our rooks over, double up my rooks. bring my rook here and I don't think he can guard this guy. I don't think there's any way for him to guard that. take I take should I push or take um Okay, how about if if he takes Boy, I don't know. Let's go. He Let's go here, so that if he takes, I take, and we just main we're maintaining symmetry. This guy's not giving up. He's he's good. He's resourceful. Okay. Now he's going to bring his rook down here, isn't he? He might even give me a check. No, he won't do that. I'll just put my rook here, offer a trade.
So I want to bring my rook here and attack this pawn and this pawn. Oh, he did. Okay. Well, how about if we offer a trade? Now he's either going to go here and attack this pawn. Okay, and this is what I was thinking. Well, I guess I can't do it now. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know. Let's just guard. Let's just make sure everything is guarded. I don't want to get in a situation where stuff is unguarded. So let's go here, guarding this pawn. If he pushes either of these pawns, I can take with my bishop. And now we're gonna we're gonna move this rook and attack this row. Okay, everything's guarded. I think I'm doing okay. He's going to come down to here, perhaps? He wants to double up his rooks right here? But I think that might be a mistake, because I'm going to get all kinds of checks here. Or I could force a big trade by putting my rook here. If I come down here, I'm guarded by this rook and my bishop. So I go, yeah, if he comes down here thinking he's going to bully me, I go here. He takes, I take, and we've just traded a rook. And that's to my advantage. When I'm up material, I like trades. I love trades. All right. So as long as we don't blunder here in the end, I'm I should have a comfortable victory. Now here's a question. Okay, that's kind of what I thought. But here's the thing. So I can force a trade. Let's go ahead and do that. Like so. Let's attack his rook, like that. That wasn't a bad move. He he's coming after my rook. 
And I need to get my king a little more active anyway. Okay, now... I can take... Right? That shouldn't hurt me. Let's take... Soon we're going to take this guy. Or if he moves his king over this way, I'm going to take this pawn, I think, just to weaken this pawn wall. Yeah, he's got too many weaknesses, I think. So we're going to go here and attack that pawn. And then I guess start pushing them, huh? Now this pawn is pinned because I can take that rook. This pawn is pinned because I can take that pawn with check. This pawn he can push, but why would he? Oh, I just thought of something. Ah, well, whatever. I'm just going to take the pawn. Now, his king can't go here. He can push a pawn, that's it. Okay. So, what I'm thinking here is let's... Let's freeze. Can I freeze this pawn? Wait, he can just push that guy. Um, all right, we're going to do some checks because I don't like this situation. Now, I've got a bishop. Oh, now I can grab that pawn. Okay. His king can't get in here. I don't know what he's doing exactly, guys. Is he coming after my bishop? Let's do a check. Let's do a check. He's got one move, which is right there. And now I'm going to start pushing pawns.
I think this is about it, guys. Um, let's block with the bishop. Um, oh shoot. Oh shoot, hold on. Well, let's go... Oh man, did I lose a pawn? I think I might have lost a pawn, guys. So I need to go here to guard my rook. And he can take that pawn. Man. But if he does, no, then he loses a rook. So he has to realize that this is dangerous. His next move is critical. If he takes the pawn, he loses a rook. If he... Um... Okay, now I can put my rook here and I think force a trade, right? Because it... Well, it doesn't... No, it doesn't force a trade. But it does delay him from doing this. Okay, so let's do that. So now if he takes the pawn, I take his rook. So I'm, I'm saving my pawn with danger levels. I'm putting one of his pieces in danger. This was harder than it should have been considering I'm up six points. <laughs> I don't know why this is so hard for me. I think I screwed up here. That, that bishop block was a bad idea. I just pinned my own piece, you know? I pinned myself. Why would I do that? So he's got to move his bishop probably to like here. Or sorry, his rook to attack a pawn. And then I'm just going to push the pawn and everything's guarded again. And then I'm going to start an attack on this side. So I'm going to pick up this pawn and start pushing. And then he's going to resign because you cannot stop it. And this probably is not the most efficient way to win, but it's what I thought of. Oh, that was a good move. Man, what is with this guy? Holy smokes. Oh, okay, let me do a check. Or should I guard this pawn? Okay, hold on a second, guys. So if I go here and I do a check, he's going to take that pawn. And I accomplish nothing. Ooh, he's also got a check here. I This is dangerous. <laughs> I'm going to start by just going here and defending and I cannot be checked. Let's just do that. I don't know, guys. This is crazy. This is really crazy. Like I don't know how this guy is defending so well. But I went here so that he cannot come here. Wait, my bishop was guarding that. What's wrong with me? Ugh, oh, whatever. It doesn't matter. It doesn't even matter, guys. 
He's going to take the free pawn, presumably. I'm going to give him a check. I'm going to take his last pawn, and then I'm going to cut off his king. What? Okay, whatever. I guess I'm, I'm wrong. But now he... That was a big blunder, because now he lost this pawn, and this guy's going to start running. Yeah, this... My king move was bad, but this was worse. This was a big blunder that my opponent just made, because now this pawn might be unstoppable, right? He can go back over here, but I'm just going to start pushing it, get it on a, um, well, if I just push it one square, it's safe. Why didn't I do that? Duh, I should have just pushed it. This pawn's guarded by my rook. My rook is guarded by my king. My bishop is guarded by my rook. My pawn is guarded by my king. Everything is glued together, and it's his move. And he cannot come to this square in one move anyway. He's gonna have to He's gonna have to come What? Okay. I don't know. I don't know what he's doing, guys. That was a blunder, because now this is forced. Check this out. Yeah. If you lose your last rook, and the opponent has four pawns, eh, you're in big trouble. Okay, let's do a very quick review. That game took a lot longer than I wanted, considering I kind of have been winning since like mid-game. Yeah, see, look at that. I've been winning since way back then. Oh, I had some. I had a missed opportunity and I had a blunder. So let's check it out. Seventy-one percent. That's not great. But let's see how we did in the opening. Okay, so that's okay. Attack the queen. Develop a knight. So that was a bet. That was that was bad. Look at that. I lost almost a full point. Um, let's see why real quick. I have a feeling it's not going to be easy to. S okay, so it's just a wasted move because he can give me a check and threaten. Okay, I see that. So check this out. When he goes here, it's. He's attacking this with check, and, and this pawn is pinned. I can't guard my knight. So I could go there, though. But apparently that's even worse. All right, we're not going to go into that. So now this is really bad. Why is that? Let's quickly see. That's a really bad move for some reason. Uh, Whoa! Why did I just give up my knight there? Oh, do you see that, guys? I can't save my knight because, look, if I retreat, he pushes this forward with a fork. And my king is... Oh, man, that's really bad. Look at that. He's going to fork with check. Holy smokes. 
So he's gonna, oh boy, okay, yeah, I did not see that, but, okay, so that last knight move, pushing your knight forward with no support is kind of what this boils down to, is not a good idea. I'm gonna try to remember that. Oh, let's check the eval bar. So we're we're doing okay now. Okay. Oh, so that's that's bad. That's interesting. I thought that wasn't a bad idea. I wanted to get an extra guard, but look at that. This is the other move I considered, but I didn't want to weaken my king. So instead of that, I should have chased this bishop out of there. So his only move is here, and then I have to trade, I guess, right? No. Oh my gosh, no, because then he goes like this and wins a rook. Oh boy. Yeah, I would have messed that up. I almost certainly would have traded, guys. So I guess the move here is that? No, that's also inaccurate. So the move here is take the free pawn. Whenever there's a free pawn, you need to look for that. I didn't even see that. With an attack on the bishop, or on the rook. Oh, boy. And then he goes here, and then I go, what, like, back to here? No. Oh, oh. push. Okay. Interesting. I don't know, guys. I don't know about this. Uh, I definitely wouldn't have seen that. I'm not learning much from this, so let us keep going. So, yeah, luckily my opponent did not capitalize on any of this stuff. Okay. Ah, now my opponent blundered, but I did not do the right thing. Okay, so I was actually thinking about this move when I did this, and then I completely forgot about it. Yeah, that's a beautiful move. Because what do you do here as white? You can't push the pawn because then I just take, right? Um, but if you don't push the pawn, if you do something else, like, well, what's something else you can do? Like that, I don't know. Then I can do this. Uh, what's better? Take. And then what could I do? Maybe attack the queen? Is that good? Oh, look, best move. And then he has to... He has to... Do that, maybe? But look at that, I'm finding the best moves, guys. Now what do I do? Bring my queen in, guard both pieces. Oh, how did I miss that? Oh gosh, guys, leave a comment if you saw this beautiful fork. Look at that. I missed that, and then his only option is take, take, take. So I trade a rook and bishop for the queen, which isn't the end of the world. That's actually, I'm not like crushing. All right, anyway, let's continue. Um, Cause I, I do wanna see the end game and if I was doing too bad there. So this was okay, this was okay. Trapped his bishop and that's where he kind of fell off a cliff. He trapped the bishop. I, I saw that, luckily, took it. Double up my rooks, best move. Defend the pawn, best move. Offer a trade. Okay, it's saying that I should have just backed up. That's 
probably a better idea. Wait, why? Why this? Now he's just going to take my rook. What? I don't get it. And then I do this? Attack the rook? No. Okay, so... Okay, yeah, I don't understand it. Anyway, um, I need to take a tiny break and start a new coffee. So I will be right back. Alrighty, the coffee is going, so I'll have to go get that in a minute. But in the meantime, you know what? I was actually thinking, how do I change my board? I was watching uh, another YouTube video, uh, another YouTuber. <laughs> Not that I'm really a YouTuber, guys, let's be honest. Where are the, where are the settings for the board? Um, oh, well, I'll do that later. Let's just start a new game. And new 30 minutes. Guys, I'm up to 1174, and we are white, so we're going to use our London system opening. Unless my opponent does something crazy, which forces me out of it. Man, as I was running to start the coffee, I slipped because I'm in my socks and skinned my knuckle because I bumped it on the edge of the counter. Man, it's, it's actually bleeding a little bit. Ridiculous. Um, yeah, let's bring this guy out. Let's bring this guy out. I was watching a London system video yesterday, and they were saying to bring, as a trick, bring the knight out here instead of pushing that pawn and then you surprise everyone with knight to here <laughs> threatening knight to here oh look he's stopping that very interesting what is that move This guy is not hesitating. He seems to know. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Um. Okay. Well, I don't know what I'm doing, guys. And my opponent does. Look at this. This is so annoying. Oh, I just saw something though. Look at that knight. Oh, why did I do that? I should have, no, yeah, this is good because now I'll trade him off and then I can put my knight here, pinning the knight, or put my bishop here, pinning the knight and skewering it against the rook. Hold on a second, let me check something here real quick. All right, I'm back. It was just the FedEx truck. I just heard something by the door. Okay, so check this out. Boom. 
Knight is hit. Oh, he's well, he's just gonna defend the knight, isn't he? Oh man. Let's put pressure on that knight. Look at that. We're putting pressure on him. Oh, and now I can do this, force the queen out of there, and hit the knight. Okay, check this out. Before I do it, let's double check here. We've got one, two attackers, and he's got two defenders. But if I put this on, attacking his queen, he either has to take or move his queen. If he moves his queen, yeah, let's do this. This makes sense. If he takes, then I hit. I take the bishop hitting the knight, the rook, and his his knight is hanging. I can take there. So one of the pieces is going to die. Okay, so here we go. We're going to Yep, we're going to hit that. Then I want to hit that. Oh, wait. Why didn't I? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the knight would take me. <laughs> I was thinking his queen and king are pinned here, guys. So I can take the pawn. Oh, I'm not winning a piece. What am I talking about? What am I talking about? Okay, so let's just take that. And now his knight is hanging. So he's probably just going to defend it now that I think about it. No, it's hanging from a pawn also. Oh, goodness. So I'm a pawn up and I've taken his bishop. So I have the bishop pair. I'm a pawn up. He's got a very weak pawn right here. My queen is threatening some stuff. This is very good, guys. This is very good. He has to move his knight, and then that's going to let my queen get in there. Right? If he doesn't move his knight, I take it with a pawn. So what can he do? He can't jump here. He can't jump here. Uh, he can jump back to here and, at and attack my bishop. But I'm going to take that pawn, either with my queen. Oh, what? Oh, I can't take it. What the heck am I thinking? Oh goodness. Oh goodness. What was I thinking? I thought that this was gar uh, being attacked by this bishop so I, he couldn't jump there because I would just take. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. That was a really good move. He found that. That was clutch. So here's what I'm thinking. Get my queen out maybe to here, and then bring my 
rook over to here. He'll, no, he'll just attack me. I could put my queen here, but then he would pin me. I could castle. Oh, let's get my queen with some protection. How about this? How about we go here like that? Now I can take the knight. And he doesn't, how is he gonna protect it? He could bring his, oh, he's gonna bring his rook to here. Rook to here, guarding the knight, hitting my bishop. That's gonna be his move, I bet. It kind of has to be, right? What? What does that do? I can just take it with my pawn, right? I don't really understand that one. I don't know, guys. Ooh, he can, oh, is he gonna fork me? I guess not. He's not going to fork me. And now I'm hitting that. Or the pawn behind it. Either one. Yeah, I think his best move was knight to here. Well, no, I would have just... Oh, I don't know, guys. I don't know. Yeah, I think I blundered. I think this take was a blunder. We're gonna check that in the game review. I think he could have forked me, and if I went here, he would take, I take, and then he takes my bishop. So I end up losing a bishop. But now he can't do it. Now he cannot fork me. And I think I'm going to pick up the knight. Yeah, this was bad. That was a real blunder, guys. Okay, so I'm loving the idea of this pin, but I can't do that yet. So, um, I can hit, I can take that pawn and threaten his rook. I can take the pawn with my queen. He, if he takes this pawn, I, I just take him. He's unguarded. Um... I'm thinking let's force, wait, what's better, force the queen trade? Yes, because then I'm, okay, let me think about this, guys. Um, if I go with my queen, he takes, I take, hitting his rook. He puts his rook here. I give a check. I'm hoping that in the end his knight is hanging, but it doesn't look like it is. Darn. 
So check this out. If I go, if I do this, if I go bishop to here, take, hitting his knight, well, his knight is guarded anyway. What am I talking about? What am I talking about, guys? I don't know what I'm talking about, basically. Okay, but we're definitely going to win a pawn. <laughs> There's no doubt about that. So let's, uh, I think. Oh, but he's going to take this pawn in the end with his knight. Oh. All right, well, we're going to do this. Let's, oh, am I crazy here? Or should I take with the bishop? We're going we're gonna to take with the bishop. I just decided we're hitting the rook. He's going to put his rook in the corner. Oh. That's not going to work. Yeah. That was a shame. That was a little blunder. I think he needed to put his rook in that corner. Okay, well, I'm glad that was a quick game because I really am curious about whether this was a huge blunder, that pawn capture. I think I should have just pushed. Yep, I think that's it right there. We lost like three points with that move. But let's check it out. Looking good. This is the normal opening. Oh, did you notice that? It says this is the best move. That is interesting. I don't know if I've noticed that before. Best move. Holy smokes. Best move. Yep. Yep. Ah, so it wants me to go out to here and and further pin the knight. Okay. Oh, and pin, yeah, the, the knight is not pinned right now. I mean, it is because the bishop is unguarded, but it's not like really pinned. This is an absolute pin. That means the knight cannot move legally. Ah, so this attack was a blunder, huh? Let's quickly see why. Wait, that's almost what happened, guys. Let's check it out. Aha, uh -huh. so that is what happened, but then my opponent messed up in the end. He should have gone after here, but he was worried about this bishop, queen thing, and uh, all that. Okay. Oh, so the reason I didn't do this, guys, is I was worried that him taking here and being a step away from promotion was bad. But look at this. So if I go here, he goes here, I go here, he goes here. I just castle, don't I? Oh my gosh, I'm so bad. <laughs> Look at that, that's a great move. Now he can't promote. He is gonna come down with some heat though. Look at that, he's gonna go here. I'm gonna go here, preventing his rook from coming in. Then I'm gonna, then what's he gonna do? Maybe, I don't know, that or something. I don't know what he's gonna do. Oh my gosh, that's the best move. I don't know why, but then I go here. Blunder? Why? Oh. 
Holy smokes, that's a bad blunder. Okay. Well, I would have done that. I would be like, okay, well, we're going to force a trade here. He takes... I take... Oh, and now he's going to guard the corner. <gasps> oh, that is a blunder. I'm losing. Oh, well. Um, whatever. Hey, that was a good set of games, guys. I'm pretty happy with that. Pretty happy with that. Let's check the percentages again real quick. So the first game was 80, and the second was 83. That's pretty good, I have to say. All right, hey, I hope you enjoyed it. We got two wins with some blunders, but, you know, that's how it is at this level of chess. I'm up to 1181. I'm going to get to 1200 soon if this continues. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.